Cyberpunk. The future world of Night City makes for a very exciting prospect. But don't forget the value of your past as well. In Cyberpunk 2077, you'll be given the choice between three life paths, essentially origin stories for your character. The one you choose will not just change the opening to the game, but the dialogue choices available throughout. These aren't anything as heavy as RPG classes that you'll be locked into, however, so you don't need to stress over your pick too much. But in case you were looking to engage in some earnest roleplay, or just want to learn the differences between each, we've broken down Cyberpunk 2077's three life paths in extra detail for you. There are three origins available in Cyberpunk 2077. Corpo, Nomad, and Street Kid. Each comes with its own opening mission, and adds a bit of background to the V you're playing. They'll all link up in roughly the same manner within an hour of playtime though, so you don't need to worry about entirely different storylines. That said, they do change which characters you're well acquainted with when arriving in Night City. So it's worth understanding them all. Corpo. As a corpo, you're already thoroughly entwined with the gigantic mega corporations which run and partially own Night City. This life path sees you start as an Arasaka agent, and a pretty high up one at that. You'll get to see the inside workings of the backstabbing corporate world during this opening, for a brief time at least. Shockingly, things go drastically wrong for V in this opening, and see you crashing out with little left to your name. The general gist of the Corpo life path is that V is looking to redeem themselves for their time as an unpleasant cog in a particularly nasty machine. As a Corpo, V will have an understanding of how the gigantic companies work. This will occasionally give you the chance to extract extra information from targets or persuade others to do what you want when dealing with the various megacorps like Militech. Essentially, you're used to being the one in charge and know how to get what you want. Expect to have unique dialogue options pop up quite often in this path, though it might make you less skilled when dealing with the nomad clans or street gangs. Don't ask stupid questions. This isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. Nomad. If you spend your real life days complaining about uptight city folk, this is the origin for you. Nomad is the only life path to begin outside of Night City. Things will open instead in the desert-like Badlands, with you having separated from your clan and looking to begin anew in the sprawling city before you. Nomads are pretty much Cyberpunk's closest thing to the Mad Max lifestyle, and that means vehicles are a big deal. Choose this life path and you can expect to get some car-based action before you reach the city proper. Life in the Badlands is about sticking to your principles, morally dubious or not, rather than stabbing your friends in the back. So if you want to roleplay someone who stays true to those around them, Nomad V is a great choice. As for dialogue options, the Nomads come most in handy once you head back out into the Badlands later in the story. Here you'll find a lot more options to glean information from people. Plus, many in the Badlands won't respond well to being questioned by the aforementioned uptight city folk. A fellow nomad snooping around in their camps is far less likely to end in violence. However, you'll find yourself a bit more limited when chatting to the gangs and corps operating within Night City. And that, admittedly, is where you'll spend the bulk of your time. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Street Kid. Pick Street Kid, and you'll have grown up in the dank alleys and darkened avenues of this wretched city. The game kicks off having just returned from a trip to Atlanta, with V looking to help a friend in trouble. Those raised on the streets tend to look out for one another, and there's a small degree of mutual respect between the vying gang factions. Their origins in the city give Street Kid V plenty of connections in the underground. As such, you'll be able to interface with the various gangs without them treating you like an outsider or unwelcome rich kid. We're looking at you, Corpo V. Gangs will crop up a lot in the early game, so expect plenty of dialogue options that will help you avoid resorting to violence, if that's your preference, of course. However, when you come face to face with some of the larger corps, you'll find yourself a bit less well equipped to talk shop. Born here, live here, die here. 
And just like that, you've learned everything you need to know about the life paths in Cyberpunk 2077. While they are fun intros, most of the time the unique dialogue options available only help to get a bit more information or avoid a fight or two. So don't worry too much about picking the wrong choice right from the start. Each has its advantages, so go for the life path you think fits the character that you want to play. Once that decision is made, your future is up to you. Thanks for joining us here at HyperX. You can find more Cyberpunk 2077 guides on our website in the description below, or click the links on the screen now to see some of our other videos. Outside of that, we hope you enjoy your stay in Night City.